kind of math would you see in the welding industry? Well, it all depends on what welding industry division you're in. If you're a tank fabricator and someone calls you and says, hey, I need a 5,285-gallon tank, you've got to know the math of calculations in order to know how big of a tank you can need to fabricate in order to satisfy the customer's needs. Okay. A 5,285-gallon tank. Now, how do we figure that one out? How do we figure out what dimensions to use to build the 5,285 gallon tank? I ain't no mathematician, so I'm gonna have to put on my thinking glasses so I can look and appear to be smarter. So we have to configure what does the customer want? I'm sure the customer is going to say they want a cylinder tank or do they want a rectangular tank? If they want a rectangular tank and they say I want a 5,285 gallon rectangular tank, well, you already have the volume in gallons, right? And to find the volume in a rectangle is length times width times height. And I'm sure they're gonna give you other specifications, other dimensions that they want, right? How long do they want the tank or how high do they want the tank to be? They're gonna at least have to give you one other value in order for you to build a tank to how they want it right now maybe they just tell you hey i want a long and skinny tank a short and wide tank that all comes down to what the customer wants i'm sure they'll tell you what they want here i have i'm we're gonna pretend we're just gonna assume that john king the king of welding wants me to build a 5285 gallon cylinder tank john didn't give us any specifications he didn't say he wanted it tall and skinny he didn't say he wanted it short and fat he didn't give us anything, so we're just gonna roll with some random numbers. All we really need is either the height, length of the tank, and, or the radius, the diameter of the tank. Now we're gonna go with, we're just gonna give a value for the height or the length of the tank because the volume equation I have circled right here, volume equals pi times r squared times height. We already have the volume, right? So volume equals 5,285 gallons. Now we're gonna convert those gallons into cubic inches because it's easier to do math with the inches versus gallons. So, so one gallon equals about 231 cubic inches. So if we do the math, 5,285 times 231 cubic inches is gonna give us how much inches is the volume. So cubic inches, so we can do the math. 285 times 231 is gonna give us 1,220,835 cubic inches. And that's gonna be your volume in inches. So we can use that number and I'm just gonna do a random height number too because otherwise we literally can't do, find out dimensions of a cylinder tank without another given value. We know what pi is gonna equal. Pi is gonna equal, I'll just draw it here. Pi will equal, I'm gonna just do 3.14 for pi. You could do little squiggly lines that equals approximately. And then, so we'll know what volume is, we'll know what pi is. Now we'll just either need to know what the height is or what the radius is. For this circumstance, I'm just gonna use a height number. I'm just gonna pick a random number. We're gonna have to re-flip flop this volume equation around and use algebra, just simple algebra, algebra one, figure out what the radius would equal for the tank. And then once you have the radius and you, you have the dimensions of the tank you need to build for a cylinder tank, and then that will be it. Let's start with, okay, so step one, since we know what the volume equals in cubic inches is 1,220,835 cubic inches, and we know pi, we're gonna use 3.14. And then now we're just gonna give the cylinder a random height. So let's say we want the cylinder to be taller than it is wide. So let's say a little bit taller, a little bit skinnier. So we'll do something like this, right? So we'll give it a height of, let's just say 150 inches. Height equals 150 inches. So now we have three values. We have volume, we have pi, and we have height. Now all we have to find is radius, correct? With the volume equation, volume equals, volume equals pi times r squared times height. Now we just plug in 1,220,835 equals 3.14 times r squared. We don't know what r is, 
but we do know what height is 100 50. literally just comes down to algebra here we will do in sil simple algebra terms okay so now that r is our missing component we just need to figure out what does r equal so in algebra we can rearrange this equation now r is our missing component we can rewrite the equation from r squared equals now in algebra you would divide 1 million this 1 million number divided by 3.14 times 150 because in our volume equation we have volume equals pi times r squared times height. We can take r squared equals 1,220,835 divided by 3.14 times 150. And then once we get that, we'll take the whole square root of it because r is square root. So we have to, whatever we do to r, we have to do to the other side of the equation. r squared equals, if we do that, 3.14 times 150 equals 471. So we can do 1,220,835 divided by 471 is going to equal 2,592.006. So 2,592. Now we have that, we're gonna to have to take the square root of that, of the five th or the 2,582. R squared equals 2,592. Since it still says R squared, we're gonna to have to take the square root of both sides. And then by doing so, we'll do 5,292, and we'll take the square root of that, and that's gonna roughly equal 50.91. So now we know the radius of the cylinder. So the volume equals 1,220,835 cubic inches. Our radius equals 50.91 inches. Our height equals 150 inches. There, now we have the dimensions of the cylinder. We can draw that out. If we draw a cylinder here, we're gonna know our height is gonna be 150 inches. Our radius, which is going to be 50.91 inches and then we know our volume needs to be 5,285 gallons or 1,220,385 cubic inches but now we know the dimensions in which we need to build the cylinder just by using the the equation of volume equals pi times r squared times height if you're given the volume we already know what pi is, and then you're given either the radius or the height that it needs to be, then you can just interchange the equation and use it as need be. You should be given this, the customer's dimensions, I would assume. So if they give you the volume or if they give you, they want a 5,000 gallon tank and they want it to be 200 inches tall or long, then you know, okay, well, I have two values. So you can plug those values in volume equation and then just rearrange like I showed you in here on how to use that equation to figure out what radius equals. And then once you have radius, you can obviously figure out diameter because radius is just half of what the diameter would be. So you could just multiply the radius times two is gonna give you the diameter. If you wanna find dimensions of the cylinder, you just have to flip flop the volume equation around for the given values that you have. So if you have your volume and you have your height, then all you need to find is your radius because we already have pi and vice versa. Maybe they give you the radius or diameter, then you need to find the height. But regardless, you at least need three values to essentially use the equation. If you only have the pi and the volume, you can't really find the height of the radius. Maybe you can, but I'm not that smart. And I don't really know if you can, it's, there probably is a way. But also, once you find your radius in inches, you just multiply that by two and that'll give you your diameter. And of course, if you wanna turn the inches into feet, you just take your inches and divide it by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot. Now, obviously, when it comes to fabricating a steel cylinder tank, it's probably gonna be a spec sheet. There's probably gonna be a print for you to read. There's probably other things involved but this was just using simple math, using the volume equation, and be able to find the dimensions of a cylinder if for whatever reason you're put in that predicament. Now, I don't know if this is how John King, the Weld King does it, but this is how you do it using simple algebra, simple volume equation for a cylinder. And that right there is using math to find dimensions on how to fabricate a 5,285 gallon tank. Hopefully you enjoy, hopefully you learn. Check out some of the other math videos, not videos, on our website or 
right here on the YouTube. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.